Hey everybody, it's the Witch Doctor here, and I'm going to be doing some tutorials on lettering and typefaces and uh, how to draw different styles of type. Um, so I'm just going to start with something real basic here and just do some basic block lettering. Show you an easy way to get going with that, and this really serves as the um, kind of foundation for a lot of other styles and um, things like that so uh, I like to use these big note cards they have lines on them so you don't have to go and draw lines or anything like that they're a good size to fit like just one word on and they come in packs of like 300 so you don't feel bad going through them. so you start off you just need a pencil and uh, an eraser and um, I'm gonna use the word pearl just for all of these because it seems like a nice easy word to start off with so, um, just to give you an idea of what we're going to do, we're going to print out the letters in pencil, then you outline, uh, then you draw boxes around the lines, and you outline that with marker, and then you can erase the pencil lines. Um, so, I'm just going to start by printing the word pearl. And you could kind of do this printing in however style, whatever style you want. They could be all caps like this. It could be upper and lower case. Uh, whatever your personal kind of style printing is, it's going to come out here. So um, use a different color to show you the next step here. I'm just going to use a pink marker too. And um, the idea here is you draw boxes to get a block letter. The boxes blocks around each stroke. So you just do that, and at this point we're not too worried about um, intersecting lines or anything like that. I mean, you could still do this in pencil ideally, so that you could erase it after, but uh, just for ease of visibility here, I'm going to be doing it in this marker. So you just draw boxes around each stroke there. Like I said, you can let these you know, intersect. They don't have to be super clean. This is just to give you the basic kind of uh, outline and structure of the letter. And then what we do is just outline the whole thing to get our final letter structure. So you can kind of see that, and I'll do this in another color now, the full outline. So if you just go around the outside of the letter, you can see that you have your sort of outline of the letter, a block style, and that's where you get that. And like I said, this uh, is kind of the foundation for adding other things. So let's say on this A you wanted this crossbar to come out a little bit more. So you could just draw that in as you outline it. And that's where you get to experiment and try different things and see what you like and see what you think works and doesn't work. Like you could do this top a bunch of different ways. See how it intersects. You could go out with that outline there. So there's still room to kind of add your own personal flair to it. So now you kind of get that extending bar through there. And it looks sloppy now, but if we were to say fill in these letters with the same pink color, then you'll notice how it really starts to come together. And if you did it in pencil, if you were not wanting to, uh, you know, fill it with the same color that you drew with, you, you would just erase these after you outline it. Um, so you could go through and erase these lines. This is going to shake the camera a ton, so I'm not going to go bother with that. I'll just kind of roughly fill this in so you can just kind of get an idea of how it looks all filled in and it's finished state. 
So this would work if uh, you were trying to make something italic. You just print in that italic style. Uh, it works for bubble letters. You just draw a different shape instead of a box. You draw kind of more of an oval shape, rounder, and then you'll sort of get the same effect, kind of a bubbly, fat letter. So it's just real quick fill in to give you a sense of how that looks. And look, you got a nice little. Um, block letter to start off with there and of course you can add any kind of ornamentation that you want um, you could take like a thicker marker I kind of think that this looks good sometimes when you put a nice fat outline on it so the nice thing about this technique is that you can do this this is the same way that graffiti artists learn how to draw their lettering. You could do it if you're just an arts and crafts person trying to make cards or signs. Um, if you're trying to learn graphic design, even though all the type is on the computer these days, um, hand drawing out letters can really help you learn those subtle differences between different fonts and you'll start to really start to look at the details of them. So it's a good, it's a good learning tool. It's a good way to just kind of develop your eye, and ideally, you eventually learn the shapes of these letters, and you don't have to go through this whole process of printing and drawing the blocks. You'll just kind of know how it, um, how the letters are supposed to shape up, and you'll kind of just be able to draw them out directly. There we go. Kind of filled in a little bit. And um, I think that's all for this one. Please leave any questions you have or comments in the comment section below and subscribe because I'm planning to do a bunch more of these and uh, we'll keep advancing as we go along. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.